You know, a cowboy picture is worth a thousand words. If he was fortunate enough to watch any television between the years of 1959 and 1965, and you see the TV show's name above, I'm almost sure there'll be a smile, or a raised eyebrow, or a deep breath, or maybe even a, oh man, even if you just watched them for the first time 10 years ago, you might have the same reaction. Not considered on any of my lists of Roy Rogers and the Long Ranger, which came on Saturday morning along with the cartoon. There were many other TV Western cowboy shows on the same level as my favorites, and I'm sure you know them all. The TV show named the book are absolutely favorite from that time period. I'm sure it's many other people's favorite too. It would take a show or two. Rawhide. I have to say that Rawhide was the first serious cowboy TV show I watched. I was only about five or six years old, and the beginning theme song was so special that my daddy would wake me up 15 minutes before the show came on so me, my dad, and my mom could watch it together. Now, I had four sisters at the time. But they didn't get woke up to watch Rawhide because they didn't like Rawhide as much as I did. I know it's probably hard to understand how a simple song in cowboy pictures could mean so much. But let me tell you, cowboy shows were the number one thing on television in those days. Not like today. Today you can watch anything anytime you get ready. But back then, the only way to watch or hear that song was to wait until the next week episode. That's right, when the song and show ended, that was it for a whole week. But Nanza, boy, that was a great TV show, and still live. We may have watched Rohai first, but Bonanza became part of our family. If any bad guy tried to cheat or hurt little Joe, anybody in our family would probably be heard talking about it the next day just as if Little Joe was our own little brother. The Sunday Night Banana Show was so important that the whole family would consider if anything scheduled was gonna be a conflict or stop us from seeing, seeing the Banana Show, or seeing Banana. Now nobody was asked to, uh, uh, forced to watch Banana, but all of the kids attempted to be the first one to get the best three seats. Gunsmoke, definitely a favorite. It's a favorite now. While Rawhide was the first, and Banana was the family favorite, Gunsmoke was a big favorite, and still is. I consider Bonanza and Gunsmoke my top two pick for the best two cowboy TV shows. Now it's a tough decision, but I'm gonna give the nod to Bonanza at the top. The entire family enjoyed and watched Bonanza together, so I'm gonna give the nod to Bonanza. And everybody loved the Cartwrights. Well, everybody loved Marshall Gilders and Miss Kitty also. So Gunsmoke was something special too. When we got our cap guns and hosted for Christmas, everybody wanted to be the Marshall. Everybody wanted to be the Marshal or Matt Dillon. Everybody knew that Matt Dillon was going to shoot somebody in every picture, in every episode. But what we really wanted to see was the quick draw. Everybody wanted someone to say to Matt Dillon, I'm calling you out, Matt Dillon. And then all of the people were scattered to watch a foul, foul gunfight, and we know what was going to happen every time. Brandon. Oh, when you heard the word Brandon, that song, theme song, come to mind. People still like to sing that song right now. Now, Brandon, like Rawhide, had one of the best theme songs. The theme song was so good that almost 60 years later, many people are still singing that Brandon song. This is another tough one, but I'm going to give the nod to Rawhide for the best theme song. The, the memory of the Rawhide theme song is just really, really strong. Now these two theme songs definitely invoke the emotional response when you hear them. 
A good feeling that you want the song to continue for a long time, but it never did. It always ended. Granted, it was another one of those weekly TV shows that you'll be waiting on for a whole week. We all wanted Captain Jason McCoy, Chuck McConnell, to be vindicated as the hero we knew he was. Maverick. Now, Maverick was a great, fun TV show. A great cowboy show to watch. It had all of the great, it had a great theme song too. A theme song that brought a smile to your face when you heard it because you know you were going to enjoy a great TV show. I would always be looking forward to watching Maverick win the poker game and then tricking some bad guys with a little humor and saving something or saving somebody. Rifleman. That's a special. You know Rifleman, you know the gun. You know the, you, you know the Rifleman gun when you hear it. Now Rifleman is a different kind of cowboy. And there's always a great story on the Rifleman. However, the best part of Rifleman was when he shot his rifle. One question many people had, was Rifleman as fast as someone with a six shooter? The answer in my opinion, absolutely yes. The rifleman was so fast that he normally just shot his opponent's hands, shot the gun out of his opponent's hand. He didn't even have to shoot to kill. I don't ever remember the rifleman shooting and killing somebody. And then when the rifleman shot somebody's gun out the hand who was trying to kill him, the rifleman was such a good sport that whoever he shot the gun out of the hand, they were free to go with no hard feeling. And that's a great sport. Now, weekly TV shows brought a lot of value, and they still bring a lot of value. Not only were these shows entertaining, they brought a lot of value into people's lives. There was a life lesson in almost every single TV show. 50 years later, millions of people still watch and enjoy the TV western. I certainly do. These westerns are definitely classic. You can say they're worth a lot of steam on the Steam It platform. Now, these six TV Westerns I talk about here are definitely my favorite. But not everyone has a view on these shows from 50 years ago. But please tell us a little bit about your favorite, if you have any. Or if you don't have any, talk a little bit about my favorites. I think the cowboy plight to, the, to be successful is similar to the Steam It plight to be successful on steamit.com. What do you think? Rod Rook.